In this video, you will learn how to create prompts in Llama Index. A prompt is a set of instructions or input provided by a user to guide the model response and it helps understand the context and then based on that, it will generate relevant answers or the output of the model such as you can use this prompt for question answering or completing sentences, text or engaging in a conversation. Let's see how we can create a prompt in Llama Index. We will be using API from Hugging Face so it will be free. Let's start import OS from get pass import get pass and then from hugging face hub import login let us execute our code now i'm going to make one variable hf that is hugging face underscore token and then i will call get pass let us execute our code now i have to pass my api keys i will go to hugging face i'll copy this api key from here and then i will paste it here let us execute our code and now we will log in to hugging face for that i will call login and then inside this token and token is going to be this token here i will just copy from here and then paste this variable here and let us execute our code you will get this message logging successful so unless and until you get this message you cannot say that you have logged in so you have to see your login is successful then only you will be able to access llm models from hugging face using api now we are going to create a prompt and for that i am going to read one text file i will write here with open so i am using this uh, basic python here i am not using any llama index method to load text file that we are going to see in the next video here we want to create a prompt and then get the answer of our question using that prompt so therefore i am not focusing on any uh, module that is used for reading a text file i am using this simple python function i will pass my text file name and it is state of the union dot text and the mode is going to be r and then i will pass encoding is equal to utf 8 as f and then i will assign this into this variable text so i will write here f dot read and then it will read and save this document in this variable text let us execute our code now i'm going to print this text file i will write here text and now here in the output you can see that we have loaded this text file here and this text file is nothing but the speech from the president of the united states of america joe biden and the speech is about a unity agenda for the nation now we are going to create llm model and with the help of that model we can get answers to our question from prompt so i will import here from llama index and dot llms dot hugging face import hugging face inference api because we are going to use the llms from hugging face that is why we are using this llm dot hugging face and then let us execute our code and now i'm going to create llm model i will write here llm and then i will 
use this hugging face inference API. So whenever you want to create a model using this API from hugging face, you will have to use this hugging face inference API. And now inside this, we will pass the LLM model that we want to use. And the first parameter is going to be model name. And we are going to use mixture model. I'll come to here hugging face. Then I will check for this mixture model. So this one. And then I will copy it from here. And I will paste it here now. And then the next parameter is token and our token is hf token and then i can print this llm model now in the output you can see that we got the definition of this model that is what the model is and what are the parameters for example headers is none cookies none context window is 3900 number of output 256 is chat model false is function calling model false so these are the by default parameter of this model but we can always change it but here right now we don't need to change it now we are going to create prompt template so first i will import this prompt template from llama index dot core import prompt template and now let us create prompt template here so for that i'll just go to the website of llama index and if you see here this is the template this is the general template that we use in llama index so to save some time i'm just going to copy this template from here because if i write this template line by line then this the length of this video will increase you can see that there are a lot of things to write that is why I've just copied from the website. So this is our template here. We have context structure and query structure. So these are the two important parameters that we have to look into. Now I will execute this code. So we have created this prompt template and I can also print and this will look as it is. So we have provided context information below, then context structure and then query structure. Now we will call this prompt template on this one and save it in a new variable. I will write that new variable as QA that is question answering underscore template. And this template we are going to use to get the answers. And then I will call this prompt template here and then i will pass our template and we can also print this template also so this is going to be our prompt template here we have this context structure and query structure now let us start querying so we will write our first question i will make a variable question and then my question is going to be what is this speech about I want to know what is the speech is about the text file that we have just loaded so this is my question then next I will have to write a prompt here and prompt is nothing but what we have defined here QA template so I will call this QA template here and then I will call the method format and as you see that there are two parameters context string and this query string that you see here context string in query string so we have to pass these two parameters here first i will write here context string because this is our first parameter so i just copy it from here this line and i will paste it here and our context string is nothing but our text file so what we have loaded here this is going to be our context string that is the entire document is context and the next one is query string I will paste it here and this is nothing but the question so 
this question is going to be our query string that means we are asking a question on this text document and based on this text document we will get our answer that is why here we are passing this context string that is our text file and query string that is our question and then we will make one variable response and response is nothing but now we will use LLM model to get the output I will write here LLM that we have created above so this LLM we are using and from this we will use the method complete to get our answer and then inside this I will pass this prompt because our prompt has both question and also text document from which we are asking the question so I will write here prompt and now comes the last part that is we will get the output and output will be saved in one variable or output can be seen from the function text so I will print this output here response and from this I will call the function text that will give me the output and I will call print statement on this I will write here print and that's it now let us execute our code to get the output for this question what is the speech is about and here in the output you can see that we got the output here or we got the answer here our question was what is the speech about the speech is about a unity agenda for the nation which includes four big things that the nation can do together the first is to beat the opioid epidemic by increasing funding for prevention treatment harm reduction and recovery getting rid of outdated rules that stop doctors from prescribing treatments and so on so you can see that from our text this speech is about unity agenda for the nation so we got the correct output now let us change our question I will copy this code from here and then I will paste it here now my next question is going to be who is the president and let us execute our code and it says that the president is the head of state and head of government of the United States and then it is giving information about uh, what are the what are the functions of this uh, president now I want to know the name of the president what is okay this I have to change it to what or uh, to who if I write it here who is the president so here in the output I got Joe Biden so he is the president in this speech and I can even ask other question so this answer is also correct Joe Biden is the president here who is talking about the unity agenda for the nation and let's look at the last question then you can try different questions that you want from this text file now my next or my last question is going to be is there anything mentioned about veterans in the speech and the answer is yes there is a section of the speech dedicated to veterans the president talks about the sacred obligation to equip all those we sent to war and care for them and their families when they come home. He also mentions the struggle of veterans who were exposed to toxic smoke from burn pits in Iraq and Afghanistan and the need to expand eligibility to veterans and so on. So you see that we got the correct output. There is a mention of veterans in the speech. And if you read this text file, somewhere you will find veterans maybe I can just do this control F and then check so here you see that in our text file 
we have something about veterans. Veterans are the best of us. And here also it is about support our veterans. And then veterans get VA care and so on. So you see that we got the correct output that yes, there is mentioning about veterans. And these are the things that president has mentioned in his speech. So this is how you can create a prompt template in Llama Index and then you can do question and answering. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.